On today's stream, we watch some of the scariest videos on YouTube. And now that might not be what you expect later on in the video. But to begin with, we watched ghost sighting. And some of these were terrifying. These were some of the most convincing ghost sighting videos I've seen in a while. So if you do enjoy, please feel free to subscribe. I watch plenty of creepy, scary videos on my Twitch. And if for whatever reason you can't catch those streams live, something to this channel means you will never miss them here. Anyways, all that being said, I hope you enjoy this stream. For it is time to watch Scary Compilation, version 78. On May 20th of 2023, a couple of nurses enter a section of a hospital that many doctors and nurses are- Hi, it's Amelia. It's not quite how you greet people, but thank you for the tier one regardless. You're missing an S, that's all right. Afraid to enter alone. The section of this hospital is known as the old ER. And Seven it's a floor month, that's been OMG. abandoned for quite some time. Eight. Thank you so much. Many patients have passed away I on zoned the ER. And it's a floor. Oh, subtitles. Hey, pop on them, them subs. Pop on them, them titles for you. Very minors. Thank you for the uh, tier one. Or that's been abandoned for quite some time. Many patients have passed away on this floor. And some of those patients were children. Nurses claim that the floor Very of this sad. hospital is haunted. I die. Uh, don't like that he added that really sad bit of information. That doesn't make it scarier. That just makes it like, now I'm sad because kids died. One night, a group of prime nurses working the night shift decide to visit oh, the thanks. floor just for fun. However, little did- What do you mean, just for fun? Oh, this abandoned bit of the hospital where children died? Fuck it, we don't have lives to save. Let's just explore it for fun. I, I don't fuck with these nurses quite. I don't know about you guys. But I think these on-shift nurses who should be saving lives, why we should be exploring abandoned parts of the hospital instead. They know that something pretty terrifying would occur while being there. The following footage Dean, is you their video. On. Watch. Okay. You guys. Haunted ER? He's a TikToker. You know, oh, I'm gonna assume he's a TikToker. This looks like it was filmed for TikTok. And you know me, chat, you know me. I'm not a fan. I'm always instantly distrusting of any of these ghost sighting videos that look like they were filmed for TikTok. Straight away. I always, always, always. If it comes from TikTok, I doubt it. I've never seen an authentic that, like video from TikTok that doesn't seem fake about ghosts. We're gonna go. I'm gonna go do Oh my god, my head is huge. Stop. Chloe, so I can't even... Huh? It's just close to the camera. Yeah, it's right, just close right. to the camera. Don't be insecure, sense. man. Come on now. Yeah. Oh, God. Feels like... I'm, I'm not excited about this. I didn't even get it. It feels like a, um, we're getting on a... Uh... Okay. You nervous? Are you nervous? Because it's haunted. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's reasonable. I like this nurse. She's reasonable, at least. Holy shit, a, a ghoul? There's nothing there. Exactly, play this at five times speed. I ain't here to waste my fucking time. I'm here to see ghosts. Oh. Olive, thank you for the uh, tier one. Having nice day, Mr. Manifold. Had a great day with Bad Linu and Comedy yeah, Joe. That's creepy as fuck. You're telling me they didn't stage this? You're telling me in the haunted bit of the ER there just happens to have been left a childlike training doll under a desk? You're just telling me that that's just a thing they did and that isn't conveniently part of your little video? Come on now. It's gonna move. It's gonna do a bit of trolling and move. We do a little bit of trolling. Okay, I didn't do any trolling. But okay, ghoulish thank you for the prime. Yeah, it's ghoulish. That is ghoulish. The shadows are fucking crawling. What? What did, what did he... Why did he just moan? Did, did anyone else hear that? He just moaned twice? He went... Did anyone else hear that? Did he let... Uh, why did he moan? Uh, <laughs> why is he moaning? Who's doing this? The ghosts are fiddling with bro. They're fiddling with him. They're making him feel all kind of ways. 
The adult ghosts, but these are the adult ghosts, by the way, before you get, make it weird. I fucking weirdos. Sorry, I thought you were about, I thought, I thought you were like, <laughs> Idiot orange, thank you for the uh, Yes, that's me, Jacksepticeye. Tab! Whoops! Tab and I'm already to you, laddies! My name is... What are you waving at? <laughs> she seems way too jovial to be here. The dark-haired nurse? To catch a stream. Thank you for catching this stream. I appreciate the two months of patronage. Did you just see his own reflection? Oh, that's the same room. Oh. <laughs> She's too jovial. She's laughing in this evil place. Oh, lights are on. That's why. Go in. 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 My pie prince, thank you for the sub. I told my Ooh. friend about you and they love your last name, BC. They're a science nerd. Oh, and yeah, manifold's like a weird fucking geometry thing. Or perhaps part of a car. Just... Stop moaning! Bro! Oh, no, stop it! He keeps moaning! Don't turn on the lights. Everyone say turn on the lights. Don't. There, there's evil lights in this hospital. He said it. That's actually kind of funny. I hope he moans again. It's kind of funny. Oh! 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 The curtain moved! No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. It moved. Oh, no, it moved. It, it moved. Yes, it did. Why it it did. Move? How did you not see that? Oh, okay! It moved. Oh, no, it moved. It, it moved. Yes, it did. Why it it did. Hi, Jack. I just finished the last oh. episode of Breaking Bad. I am distraught. My baby blue! Anyway, please, you're distracting me. You can't mention Breaking Bad around me or I will just get so Ooh, ooh, the curtain move. I must admit... No, it yeah, it did. This is slightly less fake than I thought it, it moved, would be. It moved, it moved, yes, it did. So, like, like, no one could have pushed that. That would have to have been pulled on a string. Mr. But I don't know where the person on the string would be. Man. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for the two years. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, I actually don't know how... Ooh. Bro said, I hope no. he moans again. Yeah, it was funny, man. I... Oh, I'm the weirdo. He's the guy that's moaning. I'm just getting a kick out of it. Behind the curtain, maybe. But it felt like... How did it fall? Yeah, it did. It moved. It moved. It moved. Yes, it did. How did it fall? It did. How did you not see that? It felt like kind of at like at like an angle like that, where the curtain would have, it'd have to fall at an angle a bit like more like that. 10 that months sense. W, this goofy guy. Literally in the pool RN, but can't see. Alright, enjoyed the pool. Grind. I think it was 10 months. Oh! Fell too perfect. Maybe. Okay. I don't know. I, 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 it's, it's less fake than I initially assumed it would be. Ooh. And his, ooh, I would react like that. I would be like slightly excited because the ghost, but also a bit scared. Because I know I would because I, I, that's how I re reacted when I've experienced ghost stuff. I don't know. Like however they did it, it's more likely than spirits of the dead existing. Look. I used to be a skeptic like you. That I took an arrow in the... No, I, I, I then uh, experienced a candle falling and a disembodied voice speaking immediately afterwards in a room where, like, no one could have possibly faked it. Um, so, ever since I've experienced that, I'm a little bit more likely to believe that things can get knocked over by ghosts. Also, that disembodied vo voice we caught on stream once... I had a few ghost experiences now I think about it. Ooh. As one of the Home girl got that Scooby Doo run. Wait, what? Let me uh, let's see that. <laughs> she kinda does actually. Walks further into the room. A hospital curtain suddenly moves on its own. The nurse, terrified beyond belief, bolts out of the room at full speed, feeling completely unsettled. But then, within seconds of this happening, a cane mysteriously falls on its own. Yeah, it now, falls the, the wrong way clip, for it to be a which was captured by another nurse, At least from the shows the 
I used to give myself nightmares from these vids loudly crying. I don't get scared these days. I've came to accept their presence. I just got a DM from my friend. I got a friend, Sam. I, I speak about Sam sometimes on stream. Because uh, he, he messages me very funny things. And I like to share what Sam has to say sometimes. Uh, I And sometimes what he'll do is if I go live, he'll just send me a joke based off of my stream title. Like when I'm like analyzing a video and it gets cut down to just saying anal in the title because it gets abbreviated. He usually sends me that. But uh, today he just sent me goblin sighting. Which is quite funny. But um, who is Sam? He's just like a friend of mine. I have friends you guys don't know. Maybe one day Sam will be in a video. We, we, we I have a, a series I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to do on like a, its own channel. It's kind of like a group channel, but it's, it, it's, it's kind of podcasty. It's very weird. I have, I have kind of an idea. It's not very weird. It's actually very generic. But it, I think the way we want to do it, it's kind of weird. Uh, but Sam may feature in. Uh, so it's weird. I have, I have a YouTube series that I really want to do, and all the people I want involved aren't YouTubers. They're just friends of mine that are really, really funny, and I think. I have a really good chemistry with and it would be very funny on camera and Sam's one of them. Sam is like one of my funniest friends. He's he's fucking hilarious. He actually he makes me like cry laugh. Um but yeah, I might not do it. We we recorded one test episode and it was quite funny. Um but uh you know. Um you know. Jack get get chemistry. I have chemistry with my beloved wife. Don't you dare make this weird. Come on now. You Damn guys know I'm incident. But from I'm a, a different man of, point of view. loyalty these days. Been uh, watching for a few years, but this is the first time I've been able to catch you live. Really? Wow. Be bursting those smiles. Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Like, you're the five. you the five quid. Appreciate it a lot. Take a look, guys. I don't really have a wife. I just have a girlfriend. I just I like her a lot, so I, I you know I don't mind saying wife. I'm not. At, I'm not. Ri Bro is not married. Yes, I know I'm not. All right. Come on now. I'm just. I just say it because I like her. She's cool. Come on now. Force of habit. We're telling on you. Do it! I don't give a shit! Alright, this is the, the other nurse's POV. What? No, he didn't. It Shut did. up. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. Why would a curtain it move? How do you not see that? <laughs> oh, my God. oh my God! What does the, the nurses in this video believe? What does the second POV add? Oh, it was just a shitter POV of the original this may have been clip. The ghost of a child. I guess just to prove that, like, it did actually happen and it's not edited, maybe? But like, recently I didn't think it was. Same room. I don't know. It's but as weird. with most occurrences on this floor, they also think that it could have been another spirit. Whether. But I know the the doll makes me think it's got to be fate because that's just like obnoxious, creepy. I think any, when anything's like overly creepy, I begin to doubt it. I've never been in a place that's like overly creepy, or like no, one of the haunted places I went was overly creepy, but they decorated it that way. Like you know, they done that on purpose because it's haunted. Ghost yeah. or not, the nurses in this footage were left terrified. He did look quite mysterious. That did look like legit fear in his eyes, though. Oh, I've got hiccups really bad. I apologize, chat. Let me just tap my in chest. The following video, a group of friends are chatting over live stream and having a heated. You're telling me there's a ghost podcast now, but ghost ghost jumped on the podcast. <laughs> oh. I have chemistry with my wife. Decomposing. Ban that guy, mods. Ban that guy. That's a criminal. Ban that guy, report them to the authorities, please. Debate about a particular basketball team and its players. <sighs> just wasn't meant to be. Uh, Leaf, I gotta disagree with you, man. Hey, 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 no, no, no. Hold, 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 hold. All seems normal in this live stream, when only minutes later, something happens that scares the living daylights out of everyone. Be sure to pay close attention to Christie's screen, as what happens in it leaves everyone feeling very unsettled. Take a look. Because oh, I don't know why, because I and a couple of more pieces. I do like RJ Barrett, but I don't know. It might be time for him to go as well. You never really know. So I, I say you just build off of those people. Was that a ghost? <laughs> bro, bro jumped straight to ghoul as being the explanation. Not like, did someone like go near your window with like, uh, did like a car pass and like. Bear, but I don't know. It might be time for him to go as well. You never really know. So Push one more time. I, I say you just build off of those people. That is weird looking to be fair. Is that a ghost? I just personally. Oh, yo, Junebug, chill out. Yo, that wasn't even a person. Junebug, chill out. Bro, I ain't got time for this. Yo, did we catch a ghost on screen? Bro, stop. No. That was weird, to be it. fair. Like, that that looked. I, I was about to say, like, you know how, like, if lights go by a window, like, car, like, headlights, like, it can make, like, like, a shadow, like, can be passed across the room. But, like, that was. 
It kind of didn't look like that. There would have been oh, a shadow yeah, go across the guy, which there isn't. Where you never really know. So I, I say you just build off of those. Well, the shadow definitely goes behind the guy, which is weird. A shadow shouldn't go behind the guy if, you know, it was a window thing. Was that a ghost? I just personally. Oh, yo, Junbai, chill out. Yo, that wasn't even a person. Junbai, chill out. Bro, I got time for this. Yo, did we catch a ghost? Easy Royce, thank you for the bro, problem. Bro, stop. No, stop it. Stop Junbai, it. Junbai, chill, chill out. I don't know. Hey, hey, hey. Bro, hey I, I didn't see it. I, I didn't see lights. anything, man. I was looking. Bro, I'm going to turn on the lights. Stop playing, bro. I'm looking at it right now. I'm looking at it. I'm going to go look at it right now. because. Getting. Upon slowing down, that's the footage, funny. A very faint silhouette can be seen walking past the camera behind Chris. It does seem like weirdly humanoid for a second. I thought it was just a dude in the dark. It's very weird. Before quickly disappearing into. Th this is too too chill to be fake. That's kind of what I'm saying. It's like that, that clip I got on stream. It's like, like it was done live. With like I, I you remember how like a, a, during like a completely unrelated thing. Like I had one where I was just watching videos on stream and there was a, just a disembodied voice. Like, I was watching videos, I paused the videos, talk, and then a, a voice just said, Jack, help. Or, Jack, I need your help, was the exact wording. Like, it's the same sort of thing of, like, just, like, kind of out of nowhere. That one's weird. That one's very weird. Then air. In a state of shock. Everyone forgets the conversation they were just having to dis- Someone just said fake in chat, but with nothing to back it up. You know? But yeah, interesting. Just the pressing interesting, question interesting, at hand. Interesting. Just what exactly had appeared behind Chris? I don't know. Bro, what? Now it isn't until later that Chris searches the apartment to see if anyone might have broken in. Fortunately, he finds no one there. But this only makes this occurrence extra creepy, as it seems to. I feel like it would have been scary if a real person broke in. Like they, they can actually hurt you. A, a weird little like Jess, that's fucking something other silhouette than a isn't gonna do shit. She wait, hold on. Let's skip through the frames. Try to see if it looks like it's being like emitted from somewhere, you know what I mean? Cause that, that looks like a guy in a white shirt, like that's his head, there's his arms. And then he goes to like turn and walk. But then it's how he like floats. And then it's like, oh that's Definitely not a guy. You know what I mean? It's obviously a ghoul. It looks ghoulish in nature. It definitely does. Definitely seems ghoulish in nature to me. That something other than a person had been caught on camera. It's very weird. Did I see it, bro? Oh, what the? Was bro, and then Chris looked both ways like he. I felt like a cold chill, but honestly, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> bro felt a chill. That is classic ghostly behavior. CLASSIC! <laughs> the fact that Chris turns around when this mysterious figure passes by has left his friends thinking that he had sensed this ghostly presence. It is weird that he turns around immediately. Like, I know, I know his mate went, ooh, but like, he didn't say it was a per- Like, he didn't say, oh, I saw something in your camera specifically. Like, there was no way of him knowing that something had been seen on his camera. It is weird that he turned around, like, immediately. That is also strange. So I think it's a glitch. Weird to turn around though. Just who or what had appeared in this live stream? Maybe he saw it on his cam? I don't think so. Because he seems confused when like Junebug starts freaking out. Ghost or not, this occurrence has left both Chris and his friends beyond spooked. I don't know. He could have saw it in his camera. Like he definitely could have been. It's just the way he then reacts to his friend afterwards suggests maybe not. When will the Sam and Colby video be uploaded? I don't know, because I'm not Sam and Colby, but I do know that it will be in within the next few days. Because, uh, I mean, one, just from looking at their channel, it looks like they they upload once a month, and it's been a, uh, just over a month since their last upload. That, and they messaged uh, me and Tom the other day saying that it would be out soon. Which maybe I'm not allowed to reveal, but fuck it. I'm building hype. It's a Jet Manifold exclusive. They did say it would be out in a couple of days. When the Simon Colby video is out, we'll watch it on stream because I, I, I want to watch it back and react to it because it's been a while. I mean, we filmed it in March. So it's been a while now and I don't really remember everything that happens. And I kind of want to add like context and stuff of like how I was feeling. So we're going to watch it on stream whenever the uh, Simon Colby video comes out. It could even come out tonight. Like, like that's the thing. Like it, it literally is like any day now and it's kind of still within like YouTube upload sort of time window. Like it might even come out 
whilst we're live. If it does, we'll watch it. Um, but as of right now, there is... Let me check. I think there's absolutely nothing right now. Yeah, nothing. They usually... Oh, no, they upload on Sundays, don't they? I think. This Sunday, Sunday, Sunday... Yeah, they, okay. They, they, they always post on Sundays. Uh, so, oh, they could post it tomorrow. They might post it tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know for a fact, but apparently they always upload on Sundays. So maybe we'll, from what I can see, it's always a Sunday. So maybe it could be tomorrow. So uh, we'll keep an eye out. We'll keep an eye out. But either way, let's keep watching these. In the following video, a man named Jay is resting in his living room when he notices something strange. He notices an evil skull in his window. What could it be? Bones of the undead, a ghoul? About a doll that's placed on a high shelf. Oh, it's a doll. Sorry, my bad. He takes a closer look at this doll and is left deeply disturbed by what he captures. Now, the doll in this video, according to Jay, was bought at a thrift store. It is weird. Other dolls of the same brand were also being sold, but for some unknown reason. The specific doll was hidden from the rest. Oh. Jay suspects that the reason the doll was hidden from sight was because they didn't want anyone buying it. They were then you just wouldn't put it on the fucking shelves. That's silly, James. James is a bit of an idiot, I think. What do you mean? Oh, they put it on a different shelf so no one would buy it. If you didn't want anyone buying it, you wouldn't sell it. Then no one's forcing them to sell the doll. Like if they didn't want it to be. Was able to catch you live. Hope you have a I am rest living right day, now, yes. Thank God you didn't catch Manifold me dead. I need 300 fight. bits. Yeah, he's like, hmm. Maybe, I don't, they, was hi they were hiding this doll on the shelves. Maybe they didn't want to sell it. Or they could have just not sold it. Because no one could force them to sell the doll. It's very, uh, it's probably more likely what, um, what's happening, really. We're afraid this doll might be cursed or even haunted. I'm skeptical of James already. I wasn't really sure if this oh, had Jay, been the actual sorry. reason. But after living with this doll for more than a year, it's become clear to him. Was it like a roommate? What do you say? Living with it. Something isn't right with this doll. While resting in his living room and watching over his child, Jay <laughs> captures something on camera. Is that a weird way to phrase that? While chilling in his living room and watching over his child. Is that a strange way? That felt like it was like a weird way. I was like... Like saying watching over his child. It like... Like... Watching his kid is probably like the way to just felt weird. It leaves him extremely unnerved. Take a yeah, look. it's as if he's just stood there just staring at this fucking kid for a bit. Like, like watching his kid is much more casual. Like, he's just with it. Like, like watching over his child is like he's staring at it in a cot just making sure it's okay. The sound of babies sort of crying also aids in this I being think COVID. I can see it on here. Hold on. All right. Now it's done. Oh, wait, there it is. Let's see if she moves. Yeah, I'm watching. There it is. Yeah, it did move a bit. That is weird. Like something straight out of a horror movie, the doll slowly tilts its head to face the camera, as though it knew it was being- I'd argue that might be edited. That looks a little bit like, um... I don't know. Filmed. Jay recoils in fear as he watches in terror this creepy doll move its head. Although creeped out, Jay is glad he had caught this. I don't know, I'm just skeptical. I just find- I just find that I'm a bit skeptical of this. I don't know why. Kind of, the way it slowly tilts its head is creepy, but like, I don't know. Something about it, to me, Camera, screams maybe edited. It was the smoothness of it in this relatively choppy video. Out of a horror movie, the doll slowly tilts its head to face the camera, as though it knew it was being filmed. Jay... I, I don't know, it's as if, like, it's tilt... Recoils know, in something fear seems weird. As he watches in terror, this creepy doll move its head. Although creeped out, Jay is glad he had caught this, as he's been trying to capture this doll move for the longest time. Many viewers no doubt believe that the doll is haunted. You know what I mean? Maybe not, though. Maybe I'm just being harsh here. That would be relatively difficult to edit. Like, I, I wouldn't be able to edit it that well. Like, there, there is there's a decent amount of work in that. And it's relatively, sh like, shit quality video. So it's weird. You think if you were going to go to all that effort, you'd get a better quality video. You know what I mean? So. But whether or not that's so is up to you to decide. It's weird, Something though. paranormal happened here. 
or might there be something that could possibly explain this? I just feel like it's head. You know what it is? Like, the, the video looks like it's at a slower frame rate than the doll moves its head out. Like, the doll's head moving seems so smooth compared to the rest of the video. As if it's, like, a video filmed at, like, say, like, 25 frames a second. But, like, it's been edited in about 60. So the movement's really quite smooth. And when it's been exported, it's like, an e it's like a 60 FPS video edited. But it's 25 FPS capture. Or, like, I'm not saying that's exactly... The, what is happening but like do you know what i mean like the way it looks like it the its movement here seems or smoother than the rest of the video something that could possibly explain this there has yet to be a definitive answer know. to this question maybe i'm just clutching though maybe i'm clutching at straws but that, that's it's just... late at night when a group of friends decide to visit their school to do something that they would later come to regret Rumor has it that the school they attend. <laughs> Rumor says you guys know I got on TikTok, Nico. Rumor says, what is he? What's his the other thing he says? He goes, oh, what, what, you know, you know the guy. What, what, he has a thing. He's like, he's like, um, he says something like, oh no, he does a thing. You guys don't seem to know him. Rumor says. If you have an orange, that's no longer an orange. That's a pear? Text your mom this, like that guy. But he also has another thing where he's like... Yeah, yeah rumor says you eat caramel, you turn into a hot dog? Text your mom this, that guy. But he does another thing where he, he goes like, um... So, uh, street smart, street wise, haters couldn't see me with three eyes. Like he has like this like weird little rhyme he does at the end of videos. Or like sometimes it'll be like, rumor says, if you have an orange, and then it'll just cut off and be like, street smart, street wise. He's very, he's an interesting little character. But anyway, whenever I now hear rumor, like rumor has it or rumor says, I just think of him. Is haunted. It's ruined According the phrase. to some students, if you knock on the door of the nurse's office, which is located at the back of the school, someone or something would knock back. Not sure if the rumor- Prick. What a bellend. I hate that they always seem to put it in the right ear because my office door is directly to my right from my desk. So every time it freaks me out because like it's believable. If it was like, if it was on the left, the window's there. I know no one's knocking because I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm, no one could. It's not like an outsidey window. But like, it fucking gets me every time. Oh, I just skip forward. Rumors were true and feeling adventurous. Rumor says. A girl named Devi and her this sounds too much like a, like a Bloody Mary thing, like a, like a you know, like saying Bloody Mary three times in a mirror. Like if you, if you go to the school in the middle of the night and you knock specifically on the nurse's office door three times, she will knock back and it is scary. Like that, that to me just seems like, you know what I mean? Like that, that's what I'm, I'm sensing. Friends set out to explore the back of their school and knock on the nurse's door. But what they capture sends them running in a panic frenzy. This is what they caught. Curious. God. I wonder what's going to say if you knock on the nurse. Knock on it, knock. Knock, go. Knock harder. Let them know. <laughs> Let them. <laughs> what was that? Knock harder. Let them know. <laughs> Let him. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Okay, yeah, someone just screamed. They definitely just had a friend who screamed, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna suggest that they have a friend that did a scream from a, uh, from a little distance off camera, I'm gonna say. Like, watch this, guys. I hear when you go over to my office door, just over there. Just over there. Right? I, I, and, I, and I and I hear this. Actually, wait, check. Can you just give me a second? Just, just, just like a hot second. Just, just, just two seconds. Just please, if you, if you don't mind, I'll only be, I'll only be a second. Sorry, chat. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah. So apparently, I hear if you go knock on my office door, uh, an evil entity will actually. Do a crit. This is actually true. So, like, I'm, I'm gonna go do it. You guys wish me luck. I'm gonna go knock. You, uh, you won't be able to see it, but you'll hear it. Watch.
Oh no, I guess. Never mind. I guess that wasn't. I guess that isn't a real rumor. I uh, like. Uh, fuck. I'm gonna... ah! Go! Ah! Guys, holy shit! I gotta run. You know what I mean? Like that. I I think that's. I think that's probably what they did. You know? Like I I think I think that's probably what went down. <laughs> I would. That's my guess. That's probably what they did. I, I reckon we've cracked this one, chat. I reckon we've cracked. Well done, mystery gang. We really, we really solved this. Who wants a Scooby snack? A blood-curdling scream is caught on camera, sending the girls well, running. Well, just like this. <laughs> they have no idea where the guttural. <laughs> they have no idea where the guttural scream. This is like a fucking three-pixel-wide image of like a screaming man. <laughs> screams came from, but one could only guess the source of the screech. Viewers believe that it came from either inside the school or near it, which only helps to prove the rumors as true. Something haunts this school. But of course, what's your stance on this? Just someone who is, is screaming, I think. Or something else? I Do Something else know? I'm going to pretty confidently say, I think. This next video was recorded by a school custodian who captured something pretty creepy. The fuck is a school custodian? What's that? What, what is that? School custodian? Just making up words now. I like custard as much as the next guy, but uh oh, they they they're like they're the janitor, right? Okay, just say that then. Everyone knows what that word means. I don't know why you'd say custodian. Bro, just sometimes likes to use words to confuse me. I think while working alone inside an empty school. It was on a Sunday when this video was taken, so no- Sam and Colby day, that's why the ghosts were active. They were wondering whether they'd be in a Sam and Colby video. were present during Holy. this time at this middle school. The only person there was the custodian recording this video, who swore that something unexplainable had occurred during a- sh Shouldn't swear in a school, it's very inappropriate. There's children there. Yeah, very rude. Laraday, thank you for the- uh, months for two years. For the t 20 the months, holy shit. Made a Twitch account. Oh, thank you so much. That really means a lot. Thank you. It really does mean a lot. Everyone should make a Twitch account and follow the stream. That's what I think. That screaming Grison. man is going your goofy. I'll scream at <laughs> No idea what you're talking about. Shift. He was mopping the floors <laughs> of the school's empty hallways when suddenly something happened that quickly paralyzed him with fear. The video he took is just downright spooky. Have a look. <laughs> spooky is such like a kind of silly word. The video he took is just downright spooky. Like, really? It was really, like, playing it up. Like, this is a very, like, it's, like, downright. You think he's going to say, like, terrifying about it, but then he goes, spooky. And you're like, oh, so it probably wasn't that bad. Spooky is, like, a very silly word. I don't feel like it really. Oh, I didn't hear the weeping. So I work at a haunted school. They, they, they tell you it's haunted in the job description. Like, he's specifically not just a custodian of a school, but, uh, but a haunted custodian. And my coworker sent me this. We're alone in our areas. How do you explain this? Someone's cleaning the windows, for real? Honestly, could be true. I'd believe that as an explanation. If you listen closely, the sound of a child's voice can be heard coming from somewhere. It almost sounds as though they're distressed, which many viewers believe is a cry for help. Although it's unknown where the voice is- Or oh, again, someone's cleaning the windows. Coming from, the custodian adds that this isn't the first time something like this has happened. Other custodians who have worked at the school have also encountered strange events while working alone. Knowing the history of this place, which has had numerous strange occurrences, the person who posted Right, this, I was like, what do you mean the history of this place? What's weird about help it? but think that something is haunting the school. Very little context is given on this video, so it's hard to be sure if something unexplainable was captured. But until more info is given, the source of this mysterious voice remains unknown. Hmm. Weird. I mean, it's kind of weird, like... Kind of half... I don't know. I don't want to accuse them of necessarily being faked, but also... Like, realistically, it's probably not the window cleaner. Um, but like... Not that hard to edit in sounds. I don't know. In the following video, a hospital in Mexico had caught footage of something pretty creepy. The video takes place inside a corridor of an empty facility. 
In it, we can see a hospital staff member sitting I by can. himself. I can. According to him, he was sitting alone. Is that it? Is that, is that the creepiness? He's just like lonely. When all of a sudden, a Lauren, I think for the 18 months. patient who was trying to leave the hospital asked him for directions to the nearest exit. Feeling confused upon seeing this patient, These ones do kind of creep me out in a way because it's like, it kind of like, obviously it's really easy to fake because nothing paranormal is actually being viewed in the video so much as just like, you know, we're watching a man gesture and it's like so easy to fake this, obviously, but like, like it's like whether you believe in the goodwill of people and whether like someone would just do this to lie about it. Or, like, whether he actually did see something. Because like, I, I know people, personally, who have seen spirits that weren't really there. But also, like, a lot of people will just suggest that, like, he's he's just schizophrenic or something like that. But, like, also, like, you think if you were schizophrenic, you would probably have several hallucinations throughout your life. And you'd probably know. You know what I mean? I do understand that, like, schizophrenia develops actually relatively late in in life for mental illness. Like, you usually don't... If you've got schizophrenia, it usually doesn't sort of manifest until 25 to 30, which is one of my biggest fears, by the way. The idea that I'm just, like, uh, completely, like, you know, I'm, tw I'm 20, nearly 21. I I'm just living my life. You know, I, ha I have a job. I have, you know, like, like all this shit. And, and I I'm perfectly mentally healthy. And then one day I could just be schizophrenic and start sh seeing shit. And, like, that can just happen. And I'm, and I'm not in the clear until I'm 30. And then, even then, I'm not in the clear. I'm just, like, m most likely to be in the clear. That's what, like, f fucking scares me. It's a scary thought. Anyway, like, th I, that could be this, I guess. Or this could be that, sorry. He looks like he's between 25 and 30. This recording, whoever the nurse was talking to was not actually there. Those who've seen this footage... Yeah, no, I, no shit, mate. There was no one in the video. ...believe that the man was either talking to himself or, as the man Brutal, himself believes, a ghost. Just who or what was talking to this nurse? I am slightly more... You know why these videos, like, as much as, like, it, it could just be, like, like, a guy hallucinating... Or a guy faking, because both of those are very easy, very common things. The reason I do have a small tendency to believe these is because from my experiences and stories I've heard of ghosts, they're not f like these violent entities. They're just people, like, supposedly they're just spirits that don't always, and a lot of the time they're spirits that don't always realize they're dead, and they kind of linger. And the idea that someone in a hospital who died would try and navigate around the hospital and ask for directions kind of obliviously to them being dead is, like, kind of the more believable ghost activity. And that's why I'm always, like... Like, I I I I've told this story before, I think, but I'll tell a story um, from someone... I'm not going to say who, because I don't really want to, like... You know, just in case... I don't want them to, you know... But someone I know and, and trust dearly, like, really, I don't think they'd lie. I really, really, I don't think they'd lie. Uh, and they, they were a massive ghost skeptic, right? And then they married their partner, who, um, as when they were younger, her and her sister were very into the paranormal and kind of fucked around with that sort of stuff. Very witchy, you know? But he was a huge skeptic. And then he gets married. And ever since he's been married to that partner... He has experienced so many ghost things, and he'd hate, he'd love to not believe in them as he did, but he's experienced too much, um, and and he's he's had many spirits like communicate with him, um, but again, again, um, I will I will be completely honest. They got married at twenty, and as we just said about the schizophrenia thing, 
it does generally manifest around those ages. It's not Phil. Uh, oh. It does generally manifest. It's not a streamer. It's not anyone you guys would know. But either way, it's not someone who uh, generally, um, it, you know, it could manifest. But either way, I, I, I don't believe this person to be schizophrenic on account of like, they don't have like common, really frequent hallucinations. They've just in their lifetime had like a handful of experiences since they met their partner. But it's not Phil. Please, it, it's definitely not Phil's it. But um, uh, either way, <clears throat> This person, one of the stories that they have told is um, they were in the room when their mother-in-law was, was dying. Uh, and uh, she, you know, there's was, was a lot of moments during her death that were very sort of like spiritual and, and weird. Like she kind of, there's a point where she was she kind of fading in and out of consciousness and she sort of called out, looked up and called out, uh, started speaking to her. I think a mother or a sister, as if they were coming to collect her, and she was speaking to them and stuff like that. Um, and you know, um, that's fine. Like I don't necessarily always believe that's actually paranormal. What happens in someone's brain right before they die is obviously, you know, the sort of state of delusion people enter right before they die is, is you know. So I'm not really, I'm not necessarily stating that that's so much weird. However. Uh, this person I know has seen paranormal things throughout his his life and ever since he met his wife claims to kind of have a bit of a sixth sense and I have told this story before but I'll tell it again because not everyone would have heard it um, when his mother-in-law was dying he um, he was there uh, and he didn't really want to say this to anyone but kind of nudged someone else who was there and just, just kind of told them uh, that um because you could tell they were quite upset you know, that someone who was close to them was dying. And he kind of nudged them and he's like, it's okay. And he's like, everyone's here to collect them. I can see them like in the car park. And it's all like, it's like, he's like, I don't really understand what's going off, but it's kind of like a cel like a celebration. Like it's like a welcoming party almost. I don't really know how to explain it. Uh, and like, I know this person very well. And I know they wouldn't, lie like and that but it's like really profound and i understand that's really hard to believe and like obviously i have a hard time believing it as well but like I, I do just have such a trust where i'm a bit like that's such a like kind of crazy story um oh sorry i'll stop bouncing up and down um but yeah i don't know it's just very weird and like they they um when their father-in-law it's weird it's always been to do with their um their parents-in-law, actually. Never put that two and two together. When their father-in-law uh, died, um, he, they were away on a business trip in Egypt. They, they live in the UK. Uh, and while they were away, their father-in-law died. Uh, and obviously, this was years and years ago. Um, this was years and years and years ago, way before, like, you know, mobile phones, really. Like, mobile phones weren't really a thing. So, um, you know, they, didn't, they went to bed in Egypt uh, that night. And during the night their father-in-law passed and that night the night he passed bear in mind they hadn't received the news yet they saw they woke up from their sleep and saw at the end of their bed their father-in-law and they simply said look after you know their their partner the the, the father-in-law's daughter he just like look after her and then he left and then the next morning his his wife called to say like um you know like my dad's passed and he he was like yeah I, uh, no no before he should even said he was like your dad's passed hasn't he and she he, he knew before when like, i was a child i was in the woods know, doing a school said, bushcraft which is weird. day from the little caravan we were in i saw a woman walking towards us in normal standard clothes i expected the teachers to turn and look at her but they didn't there was no lady at all let me read that again. When I was a child, I was in the woods doing a bushcraft day. From the little caravan we were in, I saw a woman walking towards us in normal stone clothes. I expected the teacher to look at her, but they didn't. There was no lady at all. Huh. But yeah, this is what I mean. So every story, this is what I mean by like, and this is why I also like, I, I, I kind of say with this, like, they, every time they've seen something paranormal, it hasn't been threatening. It has just been someone trying to communicate who no one else can see sort of thing. And like this video of this man, like trying to communicate with someone who clearly isn't there just also gives me that vibe. And it, and it also like, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It just, it's, it's one of those things where I do really trust this person as much as it is very hard to believe that it, 
it's like very um uh yeah i don't know you know what i mean i just i i, I think i've heard so many stories that i like just you know but yeah um very weird very very weird but yeah anyway we'll carry on we'll carry on the nurse in this video has no idea and is still creeped out by this footage If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check I've out- I've done that! I've done that! I, they didn't use my- I emailed them my video and they didn't use it. You can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. That being said, let's get back to the video. Let's get back to the video. On March 11 of 2023, a very strange video was captured inside a hallway at an undisclosed hotel. This footage was posted on- A woman entered the hotel. Shock. Online by someone who found the. This video one's gotta be fake, guys. This one's fake. Fraud. No way, this is real. No way, women would not enter hotels. This is, guys. This has to be unknown. fake. The footage shows a woman entering the eerily empty corridor. Guys, this has to be fake. No way, this would happen. Guys, this isn't real. Ah! No way, this is real. We're all by yourself when something very peculiar is caught on camera. Needless to say, what was captured is eerie to say the least. This is what was caught. Move myself a little bit in the way. What? What happened? Plant pot falls over. Hair blows. She runs. Based on the video, one could safely assume that something highly unusual had taken place here. A plant seemingly falls on its own, as though tipped over by an unseen force. And, creepiest of all, the woman's hair is suddenly blown forward, as if a mysterious breeze. It was a little bit more than a breeze. It was it was quite a powerful blast of air. I I I, I not too uh. Someone in chat started saying they knew the channel was this was from. From it's definitely fake. But I didn't even need it. It looked like it literally looked like what a hairdryer would do. This had come out of no like plant seemingly falls on its own Sorry, as though I tipped over by an unseen force and like look creepiest of all the woman's hair is so i must admit though that's quite a distance for a hairdryer to sort of as if a mysterious there's like a big sort of gap you know what i mean like that like that's quite a distance for someone to like blast her hair with a hairdryer over Maybe a leaf Based blower. on the video, one could safely assume that something highly unusual had taken place. Oh my place. god, sorry, hold on. I, I'm not going to be commenting because I'm going to hold my breath for just a second. Okay, I'm getting ready to hold my breath. Because I got hiccups. Drunk. A plant Food. seemingly falls on its own, as though tipped over by an unseen force. And, creepiest of all, the woman's hair is suddenly blown forward, as if a mysterious breeze had come out of nowhere. Naturally, the woman was left extremely terrified by this chilling occurrence. Now, according to some viewers, this wasn't all that occurred, because apparently something happens before any of these events. As the woman enters the hallway, and right before the plant tips over, a very faint shadow can be seen manifesting out of nowhere before quickly disappearing within seconds. The shadow doesn't appear to be the woman's as it seemingly vanishes while she's still there. With no explanation as to who or what cast the supposed shadow, it's believed that whatever this was had been responsible for the strange activity that occurred later. But, as always, what are your thoughts on this? Like most clips, this one remains a mystery. The following video comes from Elsa McIntosh, and in this footage, a couple of friends are standing outside a room. They appear to be acting with caution, as though they're afraid to enter this room. Something about this space scares them. According to Elsa, this room has not been open for six years, and for good reason. Strange things have happened inside this room. Although Elsa doesn't go into detail about the strange things that have happened, 
the video itself. There, I can breathe now. Sorry. <sighs> Apologies. I don't want to watch any more without breathing first. You know what I mean? I, I kind of wanted to be able to talk about the video. Apologies. Let's carry on watching. <sighs> Open for six years, and for good reason. Strange things have happened inside this room. Although Elsa doesn't go into detail about the strange things that have happened, the video itself says it all. Entering Why this is room, the captions all censored? Elsa was a big mistake. This is what they caught. I haven't been in this room. I haven't been in this room for six years. It's been locked up. This was the first time going back in this. Listening happens. to the Harry Styles concert, but can't stop that Jack Manifold grind. Hell yeah! Have fun! Thank you for being here. <gasps> okay, hold on, hold on. Give me the lighter. I need light to light it. Okay, why did that take so long? Was it the wrong key? Yeah. Is there cameras in there? Why would there be cameras? Like, what? Why have they got a lighter? Why would you not it's like? It's just a bedroom. Are you going in? No. Why are they using a fucking lighter? That's so confusing. Oh, oh, oh! They're lighting sage. Right, right. Uh, El Pebble, thank you for the seven months. Oh, right. I, I, I thought I didn't. I thought we were just going in with a lighter as like a light source. I'm like, why to make it creepy for yourself? Just use a fucking torch. But no, he's he's doing it on purpose. I get it. Uh, we have black up in this. Oh my god, I just got so lightheaded. What is that? Hang in there. I just got so- Corbin, don't be going through this stuff. I just got so lightheaded. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. I got lightheaded as soon as I walked in here. Yeah. Bro, I, 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 do you guys think there's rooms that do that? I get quite lightheaded in certain rooms. It was There's this one uh, shop in Nottingham. It's not in Nottingham. It's in Meadow Hall. Any of you- <laughs> Any Sheffielders in chat know Meadow Hall. Um... I used to go to Meadow Hall a lot, and I, I, I there was this one store. I think it's ho the Hollister Meadow Hall. For some reason, whenever I go in there, I get insanely lightheaded. I have to like leave. I have no idea what possibly makes this one store really weird, but I get really lightheaded. It's very weird. See, so yeah, if you're ever in Meadow Hall and you uh you fancy a little bit of uh, lightheadedness, hop in, hop in. That's just a Hollister thing. Everyone's saying it's just a Hollister thing. Never mind. Dude, it's the Sheffield fumes. Yeah, it's a, ever since Morgs has been there, just just pumping out, you know, just, just fumes. Here. Oh, my head's itching. I if think there's, there's lice in, in here. In here leave. You are not welcome. What do you mean there's lice in there? Santa Claus locked up. <laughs> That's what I'm supposed to do. That thing's creepy. Why? Santa, why are you locked up? It could be an object in here. Yeah. Do you guys ever think about that? Like, it could be an object. You could just burn the whole room. What? Between in the closet, dude. I'm so confused. Oh, my back's burning. <laughs> Is it really? Is my back's yes, burning. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. No, you're Stop. Stop. No, get, get out. 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 Marks up your back. Stop. <laughs> no, you did. Stop. You're giving me anxiety. That is weird. That is weird. Uh, I, I, like, but also, they could have done that before going in the room. Like, we didn't see his back prior to going in. But the, his reaction seems quite real. I'll give him that. God. You're kidding, right? You're no. kidding. But I must admit, his reaction, my back's burning. And then, and then, like, his reaction did seem somewhat legit. 16 months SS. Thank you for the, uh, for the prime soapy suds. Appreciate it. You're going to be missing the top of the hour ad that's going to be played very, very soon. While checking out the room, a friend of Elsa suddenly feels a burning sensation on his back. Wanting to ensure that he wasn't imagining this burning feel, he lifts up his shirt to show his friends. But to their shock, they see what looks to be scratch marks running across his lower back. I must admit, the scratch marks look to be worse once he leaves the room. As if they're fresh when he first shows them and then they've kind of darkened. Because that happens, right? Like when you first do a scratch, it's sort of like... 
it, it kind of slowly turns red over the course of like a minute or so. Like it's not very long. But like they kind of do get worse. You know what I mean? Like they do get a little bit worse like o over the first sort of minute or two. That's normal, right? Yeah, but it implies that when he first lifts up his shirt, it had just happened. Kitty, right? You're no. Look. It's weird. While checking out the room, a friend of Elsa suddenly feels. <laughs> Konzi probably thank you for the ten months. Was a burning sensation Kongi, on his the, uh, back. Tier one. Wanting to ensure that he wasn't imagining this burning feel, he lifts up his shirt to show his friends. But to their shock, they see what looks. You know I mean, like that looks a lot fresher than when he shows it again in a second. Be scratch marks running across his lower back. Elsa's friend swears that he hadn't scratched his back. Something in this room had Could have done scratched this. his own back to leave a I'll mark. Check. I'm good. Right, let's watch it. You are not welcome here. Well, my head's itching. I think there's it lice in here. Let's right? give it a minute. You are not welcome. Why is Santa Claus locked up? That's what I'm supposed That thing's creeping me. Why? Santa, why are you locked up? It could be an object in here. Yeah. Did your grandpa ever think about that? Like, it could be an object. He could just burn the whole room. <laughs> what are you doing in the closet, dude? Oh, my back's burning. <laughs> Is it really? Bitch, my back's yes, burning. Oh my god. No, you're kidding. Stop. Stop. No, I know. You're kidding. You know what? Because the camera's off him for so long, and someone totally could have went over, scratched his back, and then. But it's kind of like the com. The reason I'm like not quite willing to write it off as fake, it because again, it because it is on TikTok, but like, and usually that's a red flag for me. But the thing is. The way she says we could burn the whole place down, naturally in the interview and be like, my back's burning. Like, like you know, like, the way he says it is so jokey and just kind of like, just like, like, you know, when you're in a haunted place, you kind of just say anything that's kind of creepy going off, even though you know it isn't really like a, like a, like he says it as if like, my back's burning, like that could be the ghost, but like he knows it isn't. But then all of a sudden, oh shit, like there, I don't know. The conversation and then the reactions part, like after that seems so natural. And I'm like, th that takes some clever, like, they've clearly, like, that's some clever writing to, like, be like, we could burn the whole place down. Oh, my my back's burning. Like, like, like kind of, you, you know, that sort of progression would take some clever writing if it wasn't just natural conversation. I He left something in this room. It is weird. Had done this. In a short video, Elsa explains this chilling occurrence. And so we put crystals up by the door and it took us like five minutes to unlock that door. Like it yeah. wouldn't open. It felt like but, someone was pushing yeah, it. Yeah, it felt like someone was pushing it back towards us. We finally got it open, we went in and immediately I f I reckon it was probably just a bit jammed because no one's opened it in six years, I'll be honest. Like I'm not gonna Kongi, you think you're the gifted sub. Uh yeah, I'm gonna say that's probably not, you know. She looks like Elsa as well. Guys, I think she's just a blonde. I'm gonna be completely honest with you, and I don't mean it look. I, I think this is just a blonde woman. Felt lightheaded. Didn't you I'm going to be real. Really good? I, I'm Alexis, not so good yeah, this. immediately I felt lightheaded and I was like, okay. But, okay, weird. But I was just trying to like play it off, you know, like it's it's not real, it's not real. And then he said that his back was burning and as a joke, I was like, oh, imagine if you had scratch marks. And then he had them and in the video- you Which isn't like a weird thing to say because like, that's one of the things that people claim ghosts do. Like, there's like there's a Sam and Colby thumbnail where like someone has scratches down their back. Like, it, it is a thing that like d is known to occur with ghosts. Obviously, they like stretch. No, they don't look like stretch marks. I've got like you guys, you guys. If you watch the boxing, you'll know I have stretch marks all down my back. Like that does not look like back stretch marks in the slightest. See, there was no one near him. I. He, no one was near yeah, him. I just walked up to him. Back, like, it, no, it was. Kind of like you back. could feel the scratch marks. Like they were hard well, scratch and when marks. I was walking back out of the room, another three appeared. Yeah. Now Elsa further adds that the house was built in the 1800s, and the key to this room had mysteriously appeared out of nowhere. It was lying about in one of the rooms, as though someone or something had placed it there for somebody to find. Curiosity okay. got the best of them, and so they decided to try this key on the door that's been locked for years. Yeah, being lightheaded isn't too unnatural. If it's been locked for years, like, I don't know. Could be a weird, it could be anything in there. It's unknown how Elsa's friend got those scratch marks. Yeah, I'm sorry, those do not look like scratch marks in the slightest. That They are definitely scratch marks. It's just whether someone else has done it to him. That's all I'm, that's the only way this is fake. But, like, the reactions are just quite, like, real. And the conversation leading up to it. For him to like go, oh, by the way, my back feels weird, is quite natural and just, I don't know, it just all seems so natural. 
that I'm like not particularly put off by it. It definitely could be real. But if there's yeah. one thing that most viewers agree on, it's that this room should be locked up forever as something about <laughs> it just doesn't seem right. <laughs> it's funny. Every viewer is like, lock that room again. Never go in there. As always, let me know your thoughts on this one. It doesn't Thanks seem like acting, it's way too casual. Yeah, no, exactly. 100%. Like, I, I really didn't feel personally that it felt fake. Other than just general skepticism. Like, like you know what I mean? Uh, and also, it was on TikTok. Anything that's on TikTok makes me feel like it's fake. But they're younger people, and I feel like younger people would be more inclined to, like, if they accidentally captured something, post it on TikTok. You know what I mean? You know? Like, uh, as opposed to, like some of the older people I've seen on TikTok that in my head makes me feel a little bit more like they've made the content. That's maybe a personal bias though. Either way, let's re let's re-review. We always do the sort of, uh, can you watch the newest Sam and Colby video? Did they just post one? Is that what you're doing? Or, or... let me have a look. I didn't just post one. I didn't just post one. I'll watch their next one when it comes out, I promise. Either way, let's do our review. Uh, number one, honestly, like, maybe fake, like, his sort of, like, weird little intro. A couple of nurses on May 20th. Like, his weird little intro he does, like, he was like, we should go in the haunted ER. Like this bit. We're gonna go. Puts me off to begin with. But, and this doll just randomly being there really creepily is, like, almost, like, too, like, yeah, this haunted thing, like, uh, uh, you know, but I, what happens in here is weird. Like the the curtain moving and the sort of walking stick falling over is a bit odd. Oh, oh, oh! The curtain moved. Yeah. But you know, I'm not a hundred percent. Sure. Like, I'm not necessarily saying it's guaranteed fake. It's just a bit weird. This one's really quite weird. The shadow. This one was obviously fake. Let me go. Okay, let's go in an order of what we think's fake and what we don't. Usually that's what I do. The most obviously faked by far is this one where the girls knock on the door. Which and is located. And, and, and in the school and there's a scream. The, the fucking... <laughs> That obviously fake. Number five is by far the most fake from today. I'd say number two is is probably in my head this one of the woman in the She's corridor. There. Um, no explanation as to who or what cast the supposed shadow. It's believed that whatever like, this was had been responsible for the strange activity. The kind of way she this. What gets like me most clips. This one is she. A uh, she runs towards the thing that fell over and stuff, which is a bit weird. Uh, I'd say that's probably a really fake one. So that's probably our second most fake uh, number number two. Um, then I'd say maybe number four. Once my uh, friend told me that when the building that I live in was being built, there was a big storm that had hit a lot of people. And after that, I swear I woke up in the middle of the night and saw a woman dressed in white with a blue tint over her. Wait, hold on. One time, one my one. One of my, doesn't read right. Um, my friend told me that, was, that when the building that I live in was being built, there was a big storm that, that had hit a lot of people. And after that, I swear I woke up in the middle of the night and saw a woman dressed in white with a blue tint over her. You saw a, you saw a Star Wars Force ghost by the sound of it. Sounds like you saw like Princess Leia. I'm not sure about that one. Yeah, this one's probably third most fake, number four. I, th I think it's very easy to like layer some audio. Um. Then maybe this guy, but I'm just kind of inclined to As believe an it. And all of a sudden, a patient. Honestly, not many like obviously faked ones today. I'm gonna be real. Uh, this doll's head moving. And paranormal happen here. Actually, no. I'd say that's. Uh, I'd say all of them today are relatively. There's nothing other than the girls knocking on the door that I think is definitely, definitely fake. Even this is like a little bit weird. I'd say this is the only other one that's like quite fake. All the others like. Uh, number two, I think the most believable, honestly, from this whole thing is this one. Minutes later, something happens that scares the living daylights out of everyone. We're like, take a look. 
the little yeah, figure I mean, goes in the background. For those two people. This one? And uh, a couple of more pieces. I, I feel do like RJ every time Bear, I am here, I, I sub once to keep the manifold clothes, grind really streak. I appreciate it. Thank you for the eight months. I, I say you just that, out for those people. That guy yeah. moving that, my, my webcam was kind of in the way. Um, But like, uh, let me just get that back a little bit. No, sir. I, I that say figure you moving there, for those that's probably the, the creepiest that, that we've seen uh today. But like a lot of them are kind of weird, to be honest. Uh, But yeah, this one at the end as well. With, with, like, the scratch marks is fucking odd. That's, like, second most believable to me. That one is weird. But anyway, that is this video done. We've watched it. We've reviewed it, as I promised we would. What? Uh, why is a fucking what? Toby Turner play tweet playing? I apologize. Either way, let's watch Life of Luxury now. I would love to go. It's not a, it's not a real life event. It's not IRL. It's, it's a Minecraft event that you can buy a ticket to compete in. Uh, you don't actually have to... Uh, unless I'm wrong, I, I think I'm right in saying that. So now someone said I can't go. I'm like, it's not an in-person event, is it? Uh, I, I, I'm wrong. Of um, you know, Toby Turner. Yeah, he's, one of his tweets popped up on my timeline. Yeah, it's not. It's not an in-person event. Okay, someone, someone got me thinking that. I'm like, have I got this completely wrong? No, it's a Minecraft event that you can compete in. Buying tickets allows you to compete in the event. Um, that's what the tickets are for. It will be live on all the people's involved Twitch. Uh, so like all the different teams. I will be live. I would really obviously appreciate if you watched my POV. Because it makes me smile. Um, but yeah. Uh, what time zone? I actually will grab a time for you now. Because I... I, I uh, let me find out for you. Uh, it's at 10 a.m. PST. On June 3rd. So be there. I will be live. Anyway. Let's watch this Life of Luxury, luxury video. Bedrock, now Java. Why do you want to go back to these people? Tommy is violent. Oh! I remember that we watched this live. We watched this video. This was this one, I think. Something different about her little brother. Back there? Uh, I don't know. Could we come in and ask Debbie some questions? You can ask me. Hi. Remember this guy? Hold on. Let me get a, a good shot shot of him. Hold on. There he is, Tommy. Here he is. Oh no, that's Billy. Never mind. Who the fuck is Tommy? Wait, do we need context or something? No. Why do you want to go back to these people? Tommy is violent. This isn't the, the same thing. Behaving is unacceptable. <laughs> what the hell is he keeping in this bucket? <laughs> like a little like flesh pool. What the hell is he doing? He's sucking your back. How do you not feel bad for Gans? Because this is disturbing. Tommy's literally sucking the life out of his mom. Yeah, this is not. We haven't watched the part one to this. Dude, if this woman's having. Let's watch the part one. Oh, this is this is two years old. They made part two two years down the line. Thirty-eight million. Okay, thirty-eight million views. That's why. Thirty-eight million views. Thirty-eight million views. That'll do it. Thirty-eight million views will do it. That'll make you make, that'll, that'll make you want to make a sequel. That eight million views will do that. Problems with her son, they should be going to therapy. It's just those bones, they don't fit into his skin anymore. Go! 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 No! Hello, Lux Army. Let's hit 100,000 likes for more new episodes. I, I I think they did it. I think they I think they pulled it off. I would say they pulled it off. So for this episode, we received an email from a woman named Candace, oh they have some anyway. a fifty three year old mother who believes there's something horribly wrong with her son. Candace what is her it? Son doesn't talk to her anymore, and it seems like he cannot stop growing to the point where he can barely fit in his clothes. She says he's been pulling out his hair and won't let her see his face. She sent us this video for proof. Tommy. 
Oh, it's like that fucking I SCP. You your dinner. Do you want it, sweetie? <laughs> so tonight we've decided. No! Fuck you, mom! I don't like your gruel. What's happening with her son when she's not watching him? Let's go. So what do you think is going on with this lady's son? I really don't understand the problem. Okay, so from what she said in the email, her son's been growing super fast for some reason and acting really creepy towards her. Dude, that doesn't make any sense. How do we know he's not just hitting a growth spurt or something? I don't think this lady would contact us if he was just having a normal growth spurt. Very if reasonable response. Problems with her son, they should be going to therapy. Let's just yeah, he's growing too much. Go to therapy. A therapy will make you small. Let's get there and see what we're dealing with, okay? A therapy? I'm not a therapist. Okay, fine. I love how these videos are so formulaic. Like, every single time it's like, intro, argument in the car, driving footage, getting there. It's great. Like, I, I fucking love it. Your Wait, right here, right here. Right. This is it, bro. Okay, I'll pull over. Something seems really wrong here, dude. The windows are all dark. Dude, I don't know if I want to meet these people. This could just be like a waste of time. Well, at the very least, let's just go in and meet Candace and try to talk to her son, okay? Can his dick fit in your mouth? Is that is that the joke here? P. Alright, let's uh, knock on her door. P. Well, that was too much knocking. Shouldn't knock that much. Hi, Candace. <laughs> Opening it really slowly and angrily for like no reason. Right? Yeah. Hi, uh, you emailed us about your son? We told you we were coming tonight? Okay. Uh, we can come in, right? Okay. Okay. I can't, to be fair, she. Dude, it seems like she didn't know we were coming. She's kind of weird. Candace, is your son home right now? Interesting. I kind of like her to me. Like, usually they're just kind of, like, like aggressive. And I kind of like that she's just kind of, like, weird. Let's just sit down and talk with you, okay? Come on, let's sit down and talk. The sit down okay, and talk section. Candace, thank you for uh, letting us sit down with you. Uh, can you give us more details about what's going on with your son? My son, it's my fault. Oh, now she's like cognizant again. Like beforehand, she was like really weirdly like out of it, and now she's I like that. Done something sooner. Uh, so you told us in the email you sent us that you know he's been acting really strange. Can you go into that more? Yeah, please. He's still my boy. He just doesn't talk to me anymore. I mean, I can see you're very concerned about him, which is you know a good thing. But when did all mm, this it is. start happening? After Michael passed. Who the fuck is Michael? Michael was your husband. Michael Afton? Oh. Okay. Tommy ran into the woods. He was gone for about three days. I almost called the police. So this is the exact same story of the other really long kid, Billy, from the video I just pulled up that I thought it, that, that I thought it was the sequel to. Isn't that just the same story? Like, didn't he go out into the woods and then come back all long? Until one night, he came back into his room through his window. The window? Why didn't he come through the front door? I don't know. He just completely shut down. And now he wears this strange mask. It's just like he's not like Tommy anymore. Well, you mentioned that his father passed away. Are you sure this isn't like some type of grieving? No, this is Sounds like it. It's physical too. What do you mean by Grieving that? can be physical. It's just those bones, they don't fit into the skin anymore. I love my son. He's my whole world, but this isn't my time. He's bare weird, fam. Okay, Candace, I love my son, but he's bare weird now, fam. Please, Fix him. Uh, go talk to Tommy now. Uh, yeah, but he's been pulling on his hair lately. Okay. He's been pulling That's on it. Fine. Just don't say anything. I think he's self-conscious of it. Okay, where's uh, his room? Why would they say anything? Why would you see someone who's been pulling out the hair and be like, "Oh, you're balding." You never meet anyone and go, oh, by the way, you're balding. It's not a thing you do. Like, uh, I don't think you'd have to stress. Don't mention the fact that he's balding. Uh, people don't tend to do that. It's upstairs. I'm left. Okay. All right. Come on. Okay. Let's go talk to Tommy. Are you ready? Yeah. 
Hello, Tommy. Tommy? Uh, I'm gonna open the door. Hi. Ooh, the creek. Tommy? Uh, my name is Parker. I'm friends with... Oh, fuck, he's really rubbing it in by combing the hair, though, to be fair. Like, in, in all honesty, like, to, he, he's rubbing it in a bit there. With your mom? Um, she invited... Definitely sounds like you're banging his mum if you say that. I me here to talk to you to make sure you're okay. Are you feeling all right? Your mom's uh, been worried about the way you've been acting. Tommy, do you think you could turn around so we could? He's talk gonna do face a, a face? scream or something. Yeah. <laughs> the editing's so weird. Dude, we should go. We gotta go now. Okay, Tommy. Uh, if you want to talk more, Chester and I. <laughs> the editing was so like he spun around like this. And then clearly spun back this way, but they edited his face on backwards. That's so funny. All night. Dude, I gotta talk to you. Okay, come on, go over here. Dude, did you see his face? What was that? It's a mask. I, I think that's his mask. Why is he wearing a mask? I have no idea. It, it could be some sort of grieving thing after his dad passed. How could that be a grieving thing? Dude, I always like that Chester's just always really confused and like baffled by the situations he finds himself in. Oh, I mean, we came here to set up cameras, so why don't we just start setting them up? Dude, I'm afraid to see what this guy even does at night. Bro, let's just set up the cameras. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay. I, I'm not sure about it, though. That's good. Come on. GoPro noise. I love the GoPro noise. Let's go put a camera in so. Oh, dude. He smells so bad in here. <laughs> Just like fucking dude, what's this? riffs on the guy. Dude, there's like some sort of like meat or something here. Dude, don't don't mess with that. Don't mess with the boy meat. Don't mess with the boy's meat. Dude, just moved. Huh? The meat just moved, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> Let's just go. I set the camera. The meat just moved, bro. Me when I see... Nah, it's alright. I'm, all... I'm okay, actually. I don't need to... I don't need to make that one. Okay, let's put camera on Candace's room. Hi. Uh, Candace, can we put a camera in your room? Why would you allow them? Like, why would you be like, yeah, cool, boys. Come put a camera in my room. I'd be like, what? You're here to investigate my son. Why do you need a camera in my room, you fucking creeps? She's just cool with it. She's just like, okay. Ooh, happy yeah. 28 Put a camera in there. <gasps> ah! Ah! Why did you say boo? It was scary. Thank you for the 28 months, though. Okay, that's good. Okay, Candace. So uh, we set up cameras all over your house, and we put one in Tommy's room, too. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, why? Um, well, he doesn't know that we put one in there. At least, I hope not. I just don't want to make him angry. I just want my old Tommy back. I just want my old Tommy and back. We are going to do our best, but uh, we need to see how your son acts at night first. Candace, listen. It's all right, okay? Aw, that's a sweet moment. We do the best we can. We just need to do what Oh, I, he puts a camera in her room. All right. Although, because we saw like a snippet of like part two, he like fucking feasts on her fucking energy for like, and, and drains her. Right. So we're gonna watch that, I guess. These cameras, so we know what's going on with him. Okay. We'll all watch the footage together in the morning. Chester and I are gonna be sleeping in your guest room tonight. Okay. Okay. You ready? Let's go to sleep. Okay. Okay. Good night. I like that they always canonically share a bed, too. When we were talking to Tommy, I got a really bad feeling. Did you see the way that he looked at us? Dude, I know it was creepy, but we really don't know what he might be going through. I just feel like no, he exactly. You're very house, judgmental, Chester. Feel... He's very judgmental. Chester, you know, I don't always fuck Save with him. He's sleeping here. Yeah, and neither does Candace. And that's her own son. That's why we're here. Dude, let's just go to sleep, okay? We'll watch your footage. I always love it. I, I, the dynamic's always the same. Chester doesn't want to sleep. He's scared. Fucking Philip or uh, Parker... 
Um, he always does want to sleep. It's just, it's always the same. But it, you know what? It's, it's nice to have something easy to watch. Peach, you're so cool. And with my star, we're gonna rule. Was he just beating off? Wait, I, I got distracted for like two seconds, and then it cuts back, and he's like beating his fucking schmeat. <laughs> oh, the editing's so bad. The fucking editing, I'm like this, is like awful. Watch. Like the hand comes out from like the sheet that isn't even there and then you see like the like the sheet come oh it's that's funny. With my star we're gonna rule Peach Understand I wanna love you till the very end Peach <laughs> Sorry Stuck in my head now ever since we watched the P video. Fucking like rubber hands at the bottom. Does he move like a gorilla? Like if you had long arms, you don't have to walk on them. He's just getting up to a P. It's a good joke in chat. I stole it from chat. Thank you, chat. Oh yeah, he's going into Candace's room. I hope she doesn't like grass up Phineas and Ferb. No one likes the grass. Oh, we get a funky with it. Never mind, he's not getting as funky as I assumed. Oh, <laughs> the fucking scream edited on. The fucking like open mouth screaming face edited on. That's really funny. Wait, what's that again? Like the way her mouth just immediately opens. Funny. He's like eating her or some shit. <laughs> what? Did, was there like a time jump? Oh, there is. There's a time jump. Okay. Half an hour. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so it's about 7 a.m. right now. We just woke the sewer, up. thank you for the prime. Appreciate it. Last night? No, I slept like a baby. Why? I don't know. Maybe I had a weird dream. Okay, well, can you go wake up Candace? I'll... I think I peed the bed, dude. Go set up the footage so we can watch it. All right, I'll go wake up. Okay, but 7 a.m.? Let her lie in a bit. She's dealing with a lot. It's time to wake up. I'm coming in. Uh, hello? Candace. She's got some black goo on her. It's a fucking evil black sludge. Are, are you okay? What? Honey? No, it's Chester. Uh, we need to get up. It's it's morning. She's all weak. Oh my, God. my leg's tight. Parker! Parker! What's the problem? Dude. Candace, what, what's wrong? Her legs aren't working. Candace. Candace, are you There's okay? There's something wrong with her, dude. There's this black mark on her back. Are you okay? I don't know. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, let's let's get you up, okay? Okay. Bro, what's wrong with her? <laughs> what is wrong with her? Maybe she is just EP guys. It is 7 a.m. Like I I am this dysfunctional at 7 a.m. I fucking hate waking up early. <laughs> Did she almost laugh there? <laughs> like it looks like she almost corpses. Watch. Watch her face. <laughs> the little smile. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. Okay, so let's look at this footage from last night. Okay, so it looks like Tommy wasn't sleeping much at all. He's very active at night. I can see that. Oh my gosh. He's going into my room. 
It's not intrinsically a bad thing. You don't need to cry about that yet. yet. Oh my god, what's he doing to you? That's the weird bit. That's when you should get a bit oh, sad. My son. Is that why you can't walk? That's your spine. I don't know what's going on. Candace, look what he did to you. This, this isn't normal. We need to call the police. No. Oh yeah, because that's illegal. It's illegal to like fucking use your weird tongue appendage to suck out someone's fucking spine juice. No, no. But Candace. But they won't understand Tommy. Okay, well, if you don't want to call the police, Chester and I need to go talk to him right now. No, he rests at this time. Yo, we gotta talk now, bro. This is rest time, please. It's like when I went through my... Bro, what the hell did we just watch? Why is this shit... Sometimes I don't need to tell my stories. I wanna call the police. Dude, I don't know. That was horrifying. It looked like he was sucking your spinal fluid out. Like a mosquito or something. Did you see the way he was walking? I think he grew more last night. We got... He grew more? Joni, thank you for the uh, tier one. I gotta get out of here. We definitely need to stay here one more night. Bro, come on! We're staying. We don't have a choice. Okay. One more night, man. Okay, Candace, so uh, we saw some pretty awful things last night. <laughs> I really just told the recap. <laughs> the fucking recap. I like that. It's late. I mean, I Lock the door, do then. Here. Are you sure we can't just call the police? No. Lock the door, lady! Okay. Oh, lock his uh, door, actually. There's a lock on his door. How about we put this chair here against your door handle in case he tries to get in again? But then how are you going to get out, Parker, how are you getting out, mate? Okay. okay, so we're all set now. If he tries to come in again, Chester and I are going to be right in the other room. Try to get some sleep, okay? But how are you going to get... Oh, she's just going to do the same thing. Also, it's... It's, it's a twist door handle. So, uh, like, look at the door handle. It's a twist. Chair won't do anything. You just, you just twist it and push. Like, he could definitely push the chair over. It's, it's like, stops the handle going down, right? I don't think it's gonna, st like, it still does stop it a little bit. Like, it's gonna make it difficult to open, but you could definitely push that. Like, it's not very heavy. You know, I, I don't, I don't think it, it doesn't really quite wedge the door. I know what you're saying, but like, it, not really. It's only a chair against the floor. You push it. Really only works with like leather handles, which this is not. It will make a bit of an effect, but like fucking big strong boy like Tommy, he's getting through there. Why is always bit? Thank you for two months. Ten months. Tell me you feel safe sleeping here tonight. What if he comes into our room? All right, look. Obviously, I'm not comfortable with this. But what are the other options? <laughs> Leaving? Can leave. Yes. Dude, let's just record tonight to see what this guy's doing. It's definitely too unsafe to leave Candace alone. All right, but the second I hear anything, I'm leaving. Okay, whatever. I respect that. I respect that. Okay, whatever. Chester, as always, being reasonable. Peach, you're so cool, and with my star, we're gonna rule. Peach, understand, I'm gonna love you till the very end. Peach is peach. So I don't know why I keep doing that. This is very fun. I apologize. Oh, she's barricaded in. She, that, that's a pretty decent. That's a bit of a bar better barricade than before. I don't think he grew anymore. He seems roughly the same size though. So his clothes definitely do fit. Like by a long shot, they like are long enough for him. In fact, I'm I'm sure those are like. Did she get him custom clothes? Because he says his clothes don't fit anymore. Like he seems to. His clothes seem to be growing with him. Yeah, apparently, he did not like the Mario movie. Oh, he did the same thing again. FNAF jump scare. Ah! Wait, hold on. Ah! Oh, wait. Ah! I fucked it up. Apologies. Ah! Yeah. FNAF. <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's be like.
That's Freddy! That's Freddy fucking walking around! Oh, never mind. It's, it, oh, never mind. My bad. It's been quite hard to stand, because like it seems like he's on stilts or something. <laughs> What? No! Wake up, boys! Boys! <laughs> Put on his, he puts on his sunglasses immediately. I never realized he always wears sunglasses. That's Whoa. funny. Dude, something's breaking. What? Something's breaking, bro. Bad. Bad is breaking. Whoa, what do you think happened, bro? Come on. Do you hear that? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Hello. Dude, go, go. I am. How big is this house? Oh, what a hero! No! Where'd she go? Bro, I think Bro. we I think we gotta get out of here, dude. Dude, did that guy take her? Dude, I do not wanna be here. He right took now. her! We gotta go now. Dude, we, we gotta find her. I we don't we gotta worry about ourselves. Dude, you saw that thing take her. We need to find her, bro. Let's go. We gotta call someone. Dude, he's gone. Bro, we need to call someone. We drove home and contacted Candace's sister on Facebook. Because she's middle-aged. We told her Tommy took his mum. We couldn't find them. She told us that Candace told her Tommy died a year ago. What is that thing? Thank you guys for watching this episode. Please like the video.